everyone, I mentioned this in my last video, but I came across a tweet a few months ago when I was checking out the ghosty terminal and there's this doom fire benchmark. Okay. Doom fire benchmark. And it's used to basically test the throughput for a large set of unique cells. So here you can see Mitchell Hashimoto, who is the creator of ghosty terminal, which is fantastic. I've been using that on Mac, uh, used this and essentially came up with these different results for the frames per second on the FPS. And you can see when he tested it and whatever build and setup he had, Alacrity was at 488 frames, Ghosty was at 477, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now, I don't know what a computer he was using to run these benchmarks, um, but something I thought would be fun with Warp Terminal just coming out on Windows would be to run this benchmark on both Windows Terminal and Warp. So my previous video, I just tried out Warp for the first time. There's lots of things to get used to. I've used Windows Terminal for a very long time. Uh, but I found the actual uh, test. So this is Doom Fire. It's written with Zig. Um, it's for 256 color terminals with no dependencies. Um, and basically, I want to call it a few things. So it's a good test. It can push upwards of 180k a frame, which is insane. I'm not even sure that's possible. Uh, it's a good stress test. That's awesome. Um, and let's see, there's all these different build requirements, etc. Uh, there's these results. And so you can see here, actually, there's actually been a lot of results. And then they share the results across Linux, Mac, Windows, all that good stuff. And here you can see Terminal, uh, which we're going to do in this video here. Terminal right here has already got a great score on Windows, which is awesome. Um, West Term is the only other Windows uh, Terminal emulator that has done, you know, okay or higher. Uh, and here you can see the definition. So if you get over 100 FPS, it's great, which is awesome. Um, there's some other notes, but something I really want to call out is that results are for fun. Results are for fun. So it's unscientific approach. There you see it says unscientific approach. It's only average for underperformers to set expectations. They'll vary based on platform, terminal size, configuration. Um, they don't test every terminal with each merge request, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, 100 plus frames per second is great. So there you go. Uh, and this is what it actually meant, I guess, with the 180 kilobytes of frame. I think I misread this up here. Uh, it's saying 180 kilobytes of frame. All right. So it's a fun test. That's all there is to it. I wanted to see how uh, the new warp terminal that's just been released on Windows as well. It also runs on Linux and Mac. I wanted to see how that would compare with Windows terminal. And I've gotten Zig set up. I've gotten all this all ready to go. And let's go ahead without any more delay. Let's run this. So I've cloned the repository. We're just going to click run. Here you can see things are happening. Test your might. How much is the fish? Fun. All right, let's see. Okay, so that started at about 220. It's kind of hard to see here at the bottom. Uh, 220, 220, 221, 222, 223, 224, 225. Okay, so it's really, um, wow, it's, it's quite good. And keep in mind, this is on uh, a machine with a 3080. Uh, it is pretty, wow, I think it might even get, uh, okay, so it's gotten above 230. So I'd say 225 to 230 was the range for this is Windows Terminal. This is pretty cool. Uh, and this is the benchmark, and I'm just going to go ahead and end this. We'll clear that out. And so that's how it worked on Windows Terminal, um, which is great. So again, if we go back to the, um, if we go back here, and we go back to our definitions, you can see they had already done this, right, with Microsoft Terminal, Windows Terminal. I already got a great score. And here you can see if it's over 100 FP, average FPS, it's great. And there I was, you know, I saw it range from 225 to 230, which is phenomenal. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and try it here now on warp. And let's see how it goes. Things move along. Test your might. All right. Let's see how warp does. Boom. Wow. Okay. So it started really high. I think I, I, I'll have to check that again. I think it started like 230, 240. Um, it looks like it's settling in around 180, which is fantastic. So... Again, I don't think this is the greatest benchmark. I don't know enough about it to really comment uh, on the goodness score, if you will, of the benchmark. But here you can see it's pretty consistent around 180. And I'm going to go ahead and end this. We'll say it's got about 180. It just dipped below, but 180 is what it was at for most of the time there. Um, oops. Let's go ahead and go back here one more time. Just remember, anything above 100 is great. So that was cool. Uh, that's just a benchmark, the first benchmark test. I said that I would run between Warp Terminal and Windows Terminal. Uh, it ends up Windows Terminal was around 225 to 230. Um, Warp Terminal was about 180 on average. So both very strong within the great score, which is fantastic. So 
I don't think the performance is going to be a very big issue at all for either of them. Uh, I guess head-to-head, -head, Windows Terminal does win this first round of testing that I've done. Um, and I will continue to check out Warp Terminal. I am excited that it is on Windows now. Lots of cool stuff with it. Uh, thanks for watching.